What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Del from Inky Quill, and I'm here with a Grab 5, where I grab five things from my stash, and I use them in a layout, or two. Ooh, no, it's just one this week, I think. So the first thing I'm using is a Christmas stamp, and it's from Citrus Twist, and it's a Christmas stamp, but I'm not scrapping Christmas. Hmm, we'll see how that works in a minute. Next up, I've got these old, well, they're not old, but they're basically used up. There's only a couple of stickers left, and I'm determined to try and get some of them used up. I think they're crepe paper. I think they might be from Shine, from the Shine collection. Next up, I've got these Pink Fresh uh, washi tape strips that are from Felicity, was it? Oh, and there's a stray wood veneer on them. But they're just strips of washi tape little bits. Next up, I've got these Amy Tangerine rub-ons as well, which I haven't used yet. I do use these products in another Grab 5 video. Stay tuned for that because I remember using those rub-ons twice. And the fifth one is this white September that I got from a Studio Calico Project Life kit. Um, and I'm scrapping a photo of September, so I thought I might as well use it as I can. So this photo is a photo of me and three of my besties wearing our flower crowns. You've seen lots of these photos because we took so freaking many. <laughs> um, and I knew that I wanted to get a bit mixed media -y on this one. So I really liked that September, but it wasn't standing out enough for me. So I'm grabbing some of my Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paints. You could do this same effect with any acrylic paint that you've got. And I'm just doing some really thick strips of paint. I'm grabbing my use it up journal. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, Let's Get Inky, which is for art journaling, I have a lot of videos showing this little book and what I do with it. I just put excess paint in it and then I use it to create journal pages and it works really, really well. So I love the way this looks and I just used a dry brush and that gave it those um, brushy kind of strokes at the ends of the brush strokes. If that Does that make sense? You know when you see a brush stroke and it's got like the, the little hairy bits at the end and you can tell that it's a brush stroke? I really like that look, so that's what I wanted to achieve here. So adding a little bit, I knew where my photo was, so I wasn't going to put paint where the photo was really. Then I've got the hearty shine. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your hearty shine. Shake your hearty shine. I only go for those two colours of the paint instead of that third peachy one that I had adding a little bit of hearty shine and I'm just using some paper towel to kind of splodge it up a little bit because it was a bit wet and gooey and I smudged it everywhere but luckily that's where the photo is going so no one has to know except all of the people watching me fail at smudging it. <laughs> So next up, it's time to dry it. So I just used my heat gun and my paper towel again just to dry it up a little bit. It doesn't take too long to dry. The I really like these paints for doing this effect because um, they're so thick and opaque, you can get a really nice brush stroke from them. Now I did battle the glare in this video. This video was filmed in December sometime and the sun was coming in and out and in and out so that should be the only glare spot the rest of them i think i cut out successfully i think <laughs> so this paper pad is the shine one from crepe paper and i just wanted to go with a bit of a neutral paper for the background so i cut it a little bit bigger and then i'm tearing it now if you tear the strip towards you you can have that white little uh the rough bit of the paper showing and i really really like that on the bottom of my photo added some craft foam to give it some depth and before I stick it on because I'm being smart this time I'm going to put the rub-ons on now these rub-ons turned out beautifully they are shaking my camera shockingly though while I'm rubbing them on sorry but they worked out so nicely against this paint you can't really see it properly until I show it in the light but they really stand out so I recommend if you've got some rub-ons and you're a bit unsure as to what to do with them, splash down some paint and it completely changes the look of what you get. So lots of rubbing, rubby rubby, shaky shaky. <laughs> and I knew I didn't want to use, there was lots of colorful ones 
on here because Amy Tan does love her colors and I want to save those up for another layout so I'm using all these little tiny little hearts and there's some little flowers that are really sweet as well just for some scattering rub-ons are something that I have a love-hate relationship with let me know in the comments below about your relationship with rub-ons because I find that the Amy Tan ones I have a lot of success with I find that quite often I don't know if I've just got bad batches, but the two Dear Lizzie sets that I've got, sometimes they don't come off, but rub-ons, they have to be used. I try and use them all up while I've still got them. So I think I've almost used all of them on this packet now. So yes, that's my recommendation. If you're new to rub-ons, rub more than you think you need to and try and use them up within like a month or two because they do dry up and you can't get them off. So I decided to call this one Sweet September, mainly so that I could use that sweet. And look at our sweet angelic faces. I mean, come on, we look pretty darn sweet. <laughs> if only you knew the truth. I'm just sticking on this September now and just using my fine line bottle, which I fill with Scotch tacky glue. And then I realized I needed to add some washi because to do the grab five challenge successfully, I need to use all the five things. So I just tuck a little bit in here and there, and then I decide, I often go with a bit of a diagonal composition with my layouts. I just find it really pleasing to the eye. So you can see that I've got that scatter in the top left corner, and then it trickles down to the title, and then I'm going to make another little cluster on that bottom right hand corner where I've put some of the washi tape already adding any more of these little stickers. I wanted to use that deer. That was my original idea before I decided to paint, but it didn't end up happening, but that's okay. Adding a few little wood veneers. I'm obsessed with wood veneers at the moment, guys. I'm really, really obsessed with them. I've rediscovered stars. I was on a heart, I'm, I'm always on a hearts thing, but I've really rediscovered stars. These little puffy hearts are too freaking adorable. They're from the Crepe Paper Heart Day, is it? I think it's Heart Day. Um, and they're just gorgeous. I, I, I may have bought three packets. <laughs> so I'm not going to run out anytime soon. But they're so beautiful. And some of them have little moustaches, which is just, I find, very, very cute. Because Aaron has a very curly moustache. Now, the thing that I'm going to challenge you for this week... I challenge you to use a Christmas stamp for a non-Christmas layout. Now, the way that I got around this is there were some very generic words on this Christmas stamp, which I did like a lot. So things like, I can't read it from here, but there's things like joy and happy and things like that. Look at your Christmas stamps, get them out of your stash or... If you're like me, your Christmas things are still on your table, even though it's February. Have a look at your Christmas stamps and see if you can use them for a layout that's not Christmassy. Please do share it over on my scrapbooking Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous, which is always in the description box below the link. But I would love to see what you come up with because I found it really fun. I've, I've had a lot of enjoyment challenging my Christmas supplies um, as you've noticed with the, <laughs> the last few process videos. But I think I'm done, but I'm not done. I want to add something. Do I add something or do I just check? Maybe I'm just checking that I added all five things. Oh, and I had a baby brain moment. What was the fifth thing? And then I realized it was the September. Lucky I took a photo of the grab five things beforehand. So here's a bit of a close up. So there's words like friends and adventure and happiness and they're really generic words that you can use for anything. I love that you can see the brush strokes, the thickness in that acrylic paint. I really recommend um, that heavy body acrylic if you're looking for something to do this kind of effect for. It's really nice, but you can do it with any acrylic paint. Watercolor will give you a different look. It'll give you a lot softer, but it could still you can still use it too. So please give this video a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot when I see those thumbs up. It makes me very happy, and I'll see you all on the next video on Saturday. Bye! Bye.